Okay, last video of 2022. This is New Year's Eve 2022 today. DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. I've done a couple of videos with it. Really enjoying it. It's really sparked up my usage on the iPad. But now I want to show you how to get your media off your card, your iPhone, your NAS, camera, whatever, into the iPad. Y'all stay with me. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing well. Like I said, this is New Year's Eve 2022. Last video of the year. Can't thank you enough for all the subscriptions, the comments, the questions, all the views and everything. It's really, the channel's really grown this year. It's been been fun. So the iPad. So let's, let's look at it over here. The iPad Pro, this is my 2020 model. And uh, I have really gotten back into using it. I wasn't hardly using it except to watch t watch videos and stuff and send some emails. But I have really gotten back into it since DaVinci Resolve is out. And I want to show you how to get your video files into this. Let's say you got a SD card, micro SD card, your iPhone, which I'm filming with it right now, so I'll have to do something different. So... So let's go here. Let's take a look at it. So I have several different docks. So you can get the, and they're, they're not expensive. Now you can buy an expensive dock. Now if you got the money and you got the will, have at it. But I've been able to do what I do very budget friendly. So this is a Bayless, I think. And it is a seven in one USB-C dock. And what that does, it just clamps down on the, uh, the iPad. And uh, it's got all your HDMI, micro SD, SD, USB-C charging, audio out, USB-A out. This is a handy little deal right here. Uh, I also have another one that's attached to my my uh, iPad right now, this is a, let me turn it without unhooking you. This is an Anchor. And it is a 11-in-1. It has HDMI, all your cards, USB-C, USB-A, the whole bit. And I have an external SSD. Now, this is a budget SSD, but it is a good one. So I've got all this stuff here and I also have an anchor uh, little drive that you uh, you can put your cards in and plug in USB and that's USB-A. I have an adapter. So what we're going to do, we're going to actually come down here on the iPad and this is the card out of my, this is a 64 gig micro SD card out of my GoPro. I made a video yesterday and I just hadn't uploaded the footage yet. So all I'm going to do is plug it in to the, do the little dock here. You can see it sticking out. And what we're going to do, we're going to go down here. And if y'all want to see a video on the Apple Pencil, it put one out yesterday. It has been handy. I never thought I'd like it, but I like it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the Files app. And while, while I'm thinking about it, this is um, iPad OS 16.2. So, so here is everything that I have hooked up on my iPad. And I've got my iCloud drive, all the files on my iPad, uh, my Synology drive. But I want to go down to this. this I know this is my um, micro SD card. And it shows up in the sidebar. Click that, click that, and here are all the files that I took. And I took a bunch of them yesterday. I like the MP4 files and stuff. There's me and my brother. So what I want to do, I want to select... I'm going to select all these files. 
and we'll do them by kind. I want to grab all these MP4s. So I'm going to select. And I'm going to go over here to more. And I'm going to copy 11 items. Now, what I like doing on my iPad, I like working off an external drive. So this is my data drive here. And then I've got a video projects folder and I'm going to create a new folder right here. I'm going to rename the folder and I'm going to say because that's what that folder is. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to hold and I'm going to paste. And I'm going to paste all 11 files into this folder. Now, I'm, I enjoy working off the SSD, and if it were to get full, then I would just back it all up to my NAS, format it, and keep going again. But working off an external drive, whether you're on your Mac, your Windows machine, whatever, allows your machine to do all the processing, and it's not having to work off the internal drive. So I got about uh, 3.28 gigabytes of data there. So I'll zip you through that. Okay, that just took a couple minutes. So now I can eject that little drive and put it back into GoPro, format it, and be ready to go again. So that's one way of doing it. Now, if you're going to use your iPad and your desktop or your laptop, you might want to put this on these files on a central location, like a NAS or an external drive that's common to everything. You might want to do it that way. So what I do, and I actually have video projects folder there where I work out of, but I also have my little uh, green screen callouts, you know, where my name pops up, my subscribe and all that other stuff and I have my YouTube audio library that's free that you can download and um, so that's what I work off of now if I'm planning on using my laptop or my desktop and the iPad and I'll put it on the NAS where I can share the files and I have a network project server for DaVinci Resolve I'll put the video on that too and it allows me to use whatever device I want and very flexible being able to do it and it's very fast and I'm hopefully I'm doing a better job so so one thing uh, we'll go here and we can go ahead and unhook the uh, micro SD card we can take that and put it back in the GoPro uh, one of the other things you can do if you have a network attached storage what you can do, you can go up to the top left in your sidebar up here, these three dots. So you have it right there, you can connect to server. And you can do an SMB share. If you have your NAS or your external storage device SMB capable, you can put the IP address in there with a net with a, a registered user or a generic user. And you can actually use this so if you bring your files into your laptop or desktop you can put them on a NAS and then you can go there and then you can go to your folder wherever you put the files and there they are just that quick I am not speeding this up whatsoever I mean it's it works really good and then you can download them to your external drive and I suggest doing that these things are really cheap now so you can do SD cards, micro SD cards, uh, any kind of a USB drive that comes off of a camera. What else can you do? Uh, you can actually airdrop from your iPhone. So let me get situated there and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so let's say you got, you're using your iPhone to do your uh, video capture or you're using this for a video camera let's say it that way 
So you've got files on here already and you want to get them to your iPad, AirDrop is the way to go. So what we're going to do, we're going to go right over here and here we are. Let's look at it here and we've got our, go to our photos app. We'll go down here to videos. And let's just say for the heck of it, I want to put this one of Gretchen in that folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down here to the left. You'll see the share button. I want to airdrop it. I want to airdrop it to my iPad. Now that was only a 13 second. Isn't she pretty? She's fat, but she's pretty. So that's all you have to do to get that. So then we'll take this. We'll long press it. We'll share it. And we'll save it to a file. We'll go down here to our data, video projects, blink camera, and we'll save it. Okay, so now we have all of our media on the iPad on the external drive. Now I'm gonna show you how I actually start my video process. So, and this is gonna be real quick. So let's switch over here to the iPad. Let's, let's start all over again. So we're gonna go open up DaVinci. We're gonna hit the little home down there and we're here in the project manager. As you can see, I'm on my network drive. I'm gonna hit new project. I'm gonna say blink. Create. And I have a new project created. I'm gonna go to the media page. I'm gonna import media. I'm gonna go here, video projects. Here, come on now. And then we'll select all. Hit open. And as you can see down there in the bottom, there are all my files. So then I'll just either go to the cut page or the edit page, open up my media pool, which I like using the media page. So now all I have to do is go and there it is. I am ready to start editing, ready to start going ahead and getting my audio going. And the whole bit. And there it is. And that's just that quick. So there you have it. And then you can go in and do all your call outs, your editing, your audio transitions. You can have it just the way you want it. Export it to YouTube, Vimeo, a family a gathering, whatever you want to do. And it's just that easy so let's finish this thing up and that's all you have to do on that i mean airdrop it bam in the folder you're ready to go uh if you have music an audio track that you've downloaded download it put it on your external drive works great so that is my method of getting my media on there now if you have an android phone that's a little different. Now you're going to have to save it to your laptop or desktop and get in there, I think. I don't know of any way of actually transferring it. If, if you know how to transfer from an Android device to an iPad, let me know because I'm kind of weak on that area. <laughs> so I don't have one. I had to, had to borrow one of my friend's phones, I guess. But uh, anyway, if you have any questions, leave them down there in the bottom. I answer every one of them. I'll leave a link to these docs. I mean, you're talking uh, 20 bucks, 
30 bucks and you're done. External drive is less than 50 now for a 256. You can get a 120 gig. Uh, you can build your own drive. You know, you can get little uh, external enclosures, USB, and, and make them up. It depends how level of a nerd you want to be. But yeah, these things are cool. They work great. They don't overheat. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I hope you are. If DaVinci Resolve the iPad, if you're using it, let me know. I'd like to know. I like to know what other people are doing. Um, I know I'm not on an island here. So, but anyway, like I said earlier, today is New Year's Eve 2022. I hope y'all bring in the new year. Be safe about it. I'm going to bring it in about 10 o'clock. So uh, I'm getting old. I can't hang with the big dogs anymore. So, But anyway, I hope everybody's had a great day and a great weekend. And until the next video, thanks for watching.